there for Fracture. A different comp than we've seen before from them. Adding the Viper into the mix here for DRXS has been incredible so far. This tournament on that Viper does a great job using his utility, really maneuvering those poison clouds in particular. And do they have a plan for Com Sova, one of the most impactful agents on a map you will find in VCT right now? So far, it's a very quiet approach. The creep up, turret though, spotting. Will be broken down. Fault line at the ready here from Ethan, situated in the site. Now Swarm as well, going off, just gonna be delaying. It's slowed up, damage not find, found on either side so far. Derex gonna use this opportunity to grab the orb and pivot a little bit. Rotation still kind of being flirted with on the north side of the map for EG. And they're gonna commit Bustio down towards Dish and expecting a re-hit here from DRX. Still a couple flashes in play. Still some nano swarms. A lot of mollies here. DRX loves to play post plant. So having this Viper in the comp gives them some lineups, probably from A main for these A hits if they can get the plant down. Made at the ready. Ethan playing first contact, finds Buzz, takes him down, takes a hell of a lot of damage, and the paint show will be able to finish him off. Damage dealt though on the way in. Zest as well down to a sliver. You can see the HP bars right now for the DRX. Not looking healthy. Plant gonna be coming through. RB noted up on top. Low gets the dink across, but can't finish the job. Now it's all down to Mako. As the nade will claim him. Lineup should have been sent stomping through. Door gets opened up and calm instantly shuts him down. Some time bought, but not a round win. EG will be drawing first blood and taking the first pistol. Yeah, just really well handled here by EG, not biting on the attempted double pump from DRX. They just hold their ground. Great job by Ethan on site to get that first kill, even though he goes down to the nades and then everyone getting dinged up along the way there for DRX. So yes, the poison cloud is there uh, but with the turret and the extra firepower. They are able to easily clean this up and knowing that Mako loves to lurk in spawn, well prepared is calm for that rotation after using the molly. So, Good start here for EG, as you would expect. And again, DRX, you know, really usually pretty powerful on the attacker side on Fracture, but that's more with the Neon comp. That's yep. really where I look for them to do their damage. Typically, uh, here with this comp though, when they've run it in the past with the raise, it has been a little bit more balanced, but a little bit shakier in my opinion. Jogamo pushing forward. Zest gonna be able to spot him there. We'll just play back, hovering around the door. Three members from the side of EG, currently over towards this A side of the map. There. And stacks. As well as Buzz just gonna go on a little bit of a lurk through the sewer across to that arcade side. Just watching from behind. Rotation from Calm, but the other two players still situated. His stacks is just playing Pac-Man, gobbling up the orbs where he possibly can. Yeah, and this is encouraging for DRX that they're able to find some value uh, in the early parts of these rounds to get these orbs into stacks, his hands, uh, get those rolling thunders ready as fast as possible. Just a couple ghosts and a sheriff for DRX. Let's see if they can find any value out of it. Zest flirting with Jogamo's bulldog there. He's gonna try to <laughs> he's gonna try to do some damage. And yeah, Jogamo, or excuse me, the Stinger has got him down nice and easy. Manages to find that kill. Doesn't draw any further attention over towards A. Com had rotated back over, but now slow approach. Gets ready to come in here from DRX. 33 seconds remaining on the clock. To get ready to pull the trigger. The smoke's gonna be going down. Boosio just spraying through. Managing to find stacks. Yeah. Turn fire, not getting any connections either. Push up here onto the site, Mako. Getting bogged down just a little bit. Will be able to get in a position to get that plant across. So it seems like EG not quite reading that it was going to be in the cubby. Rather thinking that it was going to be over more at default behind the boxes. Nano Swarm to stop the push forward. Buzz swing around, managing to find one, but the cleanup is swift. As Kam will claim two, Jogamo the last. The fuse in to go ahead and get an extra charge over towards Ethan's own Rolling Thunder, and EG will move up to zero. And DRX does find a little bit of value out of this round, but some really encouraging things here for EG, in my opinion. They're already starting to attack that attacker's side uh, spawn part because they know that DRX likes to set up from there uh, for their post plant. You can see Mako was already rotating back through tree, back into that direction, and there were reinforcements already for EG to make sure that that uh, Molly lineup spot that he likes to hold was just cut off already. So already I'm really encouraged by what I'm seeing here from EG in their read of how DRX likes to play this map. Pivotal, pivotal moment here for the side of DRX. Going into the anti bonus. Gonna see if they can go ahead, finally get themselves on the board. EG, a big conversion here would really set the stage. Doug was talking about it on the desk. Is this 
you know, a big brain play, uh, play and a, an elaborate ruse here from the side of DRX with this map draft, or will it all fall to pieces? And I thought there was a possibility they'd float this map uh, because maybe they could get ahead of things with the Neon Comp, uh, maybe kind of push the pace. But EG in the past has handled some Neon Comps, uh, you know, Paper X being one of them when they tried it against EG did not work. So now Buzz going go for some trades with Jogamo. Jogamo just going to peak the angle. And now DRX is going to pull back. But, but really, I'm curious to see how much DRX is going to play with the map with these Viper smokes, not only to kind of build on what Sean was talking about on the desk, that they can use it uh, to help alleviate some of the pressure from that utility of comm, from those recon darts, things like that, but also to sell some fakes. Because right now you can put the toxic screen over on the B side, cut off Jen and Canteen, move back over to the other side of the map here, and you still have Mako smokes available to make these hits work. All right, well, speaking of the hit, begins now, Buzz. Up here over the top, over at Sands, does get spotted, manages to drop down to safety. Before the swing can come in from Ethan. Situated still here on the site. Push coming through, Ethan gonna be taken down, Buzz spotting Demon 1 as well. Before RB falls, but that's gonna be the man advantage in the site right now, in the hands of DRX. Plant coming down, Stack still one away from the Rolling Thunder, so will not have it here in this round. It's a lockdown, gonna be committed as well. Lucio really wants to get this conversion. Stax making his exit, jumps across the paint shell, takes a little bit of damage, but Mako still lingering forward just to find one. But now you've got these post plants for DRX. Still one snake bite left for Zest. Even beyond this one. So they can delay, delay, delay. Oh, he's not on it, but calm! Swings the door. It's the perfect timing there on the push. The snake bite goes wide, but Zest still has the headshot. And DRX will, in fact, get themselves here online in round three, but at such heavy costs. Four players left on the floor, and very good amount of damage dealt there by EG. Man, Calm is just finding some beautiful timings to really ruin DRX's day on this A side. Just waiting right by this door once again, just like we saw in the pistol. Pops right through, Last and Zest, who has been so clutch for DRX throughout this event, throughout his history on DRX, Whoa. once again bailing them out in a huge moment. <laughs> but still, you gotta like what you see from EG so far. These have been really solid rounds. Yeah, biting her lip a little bit there on the back end of that the replay, but I don't think Potter can be too upset just given the damage that was dealt. Still need to be able to get through this round if they want to really break the economy down. Zest's going to be the only one who really has cash carried forward in that situation. See so if they can make it happen. I mean, DRX, this is such a different look because we are so used to seeing that Neon. We're used to those really fast hits coming through. But instead, with just that solo duels, the double controller really grinds us down to a snail's pace. And the double controllers as well, because they want to try to work the map a little bit more here, kind of spread out, looking to see if there's going to be any flanks, already identifying uh, that EG is getting aggressive uh, into their flanks and trying to leave Zest in a position to hold those. He does those on a lot of maps. RB on the other side, DRX loves to keep their kill joint over on the bridge, and here's that rolling thunder to get into the site. Crashes across, only manages to find one, and Pusio still gets the headshot. Man, then the 22, now stacks revealed off that recon dart, perfectly timed by Com sets it up. And that is the site, just completely shut closed. 30 seconds Not left. allowing them in. Not even a kill found, and now RB finds himself in a bit of an awkward linger spot. I don't think he saw the gun barrel. Still gonna try to play this out one a little bit more patiently, but he's so disconnected from the rest of the squad. We're still trying to make their way over towards A. Spots one, there's the kill. No time to try to rotate off that one, they just have to go ahead. Set themselves here on this A site. Com swinging around in through main. Do they read it? It seems like no. Zest comes away with one. Mako trying to stand tall. Can't make it happen. Com again comes up with the goods. 7 1 and 1. And now a 3 1 scoreline. EG starting to stretch a lead. It not only does Com set a new meta on this map with this Sova, but he's so clean, so crisp at reading the rotations and the movements of his opponents. And once again, EG getting into the back lines. Sure, RB finds one a great hold there from Bustio as well. Demon one right through the smoke on that brimstone. It's a phenomenal brimstone to back up this incredible comp with Jogamo switching over to the duelist, and Com has just been an absolute nuisance. So now DRX gonna have to be licking their wounds into this next round. Looks like we're gonna have one hero rifle coming over to Buzz. Orbital strike available for Mako, so. DRX can get a couple kills, maybe upgrade some guns, get the plants out, there's a chance! Oh, nice. the jump forward. Buzz well, gonna be good for the headshot. Open things up a little bit more, but I mean, you look at who is here and you still have to be concerned. With Ethan and Com on standby. 
Hovering around drop and dish. RB once again. Deep flank over on that north side. No pressure really being applied to him. It seems like satisfied with the singular kill here. DRX will back away and once again turn their sights over towards B. And, and I like this early change of pace from DRX to get this pick. Just kind of catch EG off guard. They had been pushing space there through A main the last couple of rounds and able to find the pick early onto Jogamo. Now Bustio once again, who's been so good here on this site, just already spraying with Calm. Calm right there behind him. Sprays across, gets himself an eighth kill. Right behind the box, Snacks gonna be all right, but there's a Hunter Sphere off the reveal, looking for the kill, but now it's gonna be Demon One who takes it once again. 3v4, RB the only one not tagged up, but still just two pistols and that Vandal there on Zest. Buzz has got the showstopper. Molly to go ahead and cut him off, not allow him to peek, and now Rolling Thunder even gonna be committed to this one. It's onto a singular player, just catch RB. Swing forward, Zest trying to put that Vandal to good use, but cannot make it happen. RB is under far too much pressure. Buzz will be good for one with their covered weapon, but that's about it. EG, a very swift and clean retake. They have three members surviving as they move up four to one. I mean, this is one of the things that makes EG so scary on this map, is they're so disciplined coming through on these retakes. Everybody knows their angles, what they're supposed to be doing. A Hunter's Fury early, Calm can just cycle through those. RB is one away from the lockdown, uh, but EG has plans for days, and yeah, quickly, DRX is going to be pumping the brakes to try to figure out how they can work around some of this pressure. EG, they very much have the quick pivot response. Yeah, exactly. And it could just also just be kind of a, a momentum breaker here uh, for DRX, just to try to get the players kind of feeling themselves a little bit better. This has been a real problem for DRX throughout their career, where they start out slow on map one. I mean, how many times have we seen them lose map one, come back, win the next two maps against Billy Billy, go two and 10 in the first half, and then come back and win the map by winning 12 rounds, 13 rounds in a row. I mean, they're just, you know, this is one thing I'm always concerned about with this team is these slow starts. Look at the challenge outside of A right now, though, Zest. They're trying to hold the line. Does he realize how many people are in behind this drone, though? Bustio looking to push forward, but will back away, so Zest. Breathe a sigh of relief. It looked like he was almost certainly going to be taken down in that situation. And they're going to try to use this opportunity to take some space here on to B, knowing that there are at least a couple over out of that A push as RB had slid over to try to assist Zest if they did push through that poison cloud. But Jogamo going to be waiting this out. The Boombot does clear, but going to be danger close here to Buzz. And you can see just how aware they are right there. As Buzz will be able to find Jogamo, but Ethan responds in kind. The pain came down. They suspected Zest is still going to be on this Lurk, so they've actually rotated back through the spawn. Now the orbital strike committed over towards Tower to flush out stacks right into Ethan's welcoming arms. Finds that elimination. Molly goes out to try to buy some time. Lockdown as well going to be invested. They do have this orbital strike, but this could turn into a very costly round if they have to commit all of that to try to win this one out. He's gonna Lockdown's out. actually destroyed. Ethan swing in the corner, finds one, makes his presence known. Now the orbital have to come, has remain. to come in, but it's a bit too early. Mako now finds himself in a 1v4, and he can't get one of them. The fuse will come in, and EG deny the round win off the back of the timeout. The dominance continues. Just masterful ult usage, as usual with EG. This is one of the calling cards, the hallmarks of this team. You should run. And <laughs> They're so patient there, out of tower, using the orbital strike to clear it, and then they have a backup plan to make sure that the lockdown, you know, which you can't blame RB for using there in that situation. The orbital strike had already been used, the typical ult to clear his ult already out, and they just get in there, take care of business. And this is just beautiful stuff from EG. And out Jogamo has his ult as well. I mean, you're talking about the showstopper online. I'm looking at Bustia with the operator. Rare and ready to go. And we've seen plenty in the past what he is capable of. And just a guardian for Mako as DRX's economy is once again falling behind a bit. Looking to set up for an arcade hit here potentially. Demon One tucked in right behind this Bach. Quick assist potential from Bustio here with that operator. Let's see if they can kind of suss this out. The made in the tower, Showstopper drawn out, but they do not suspect it whatsoever! Buzz will find Bustio, but the shutdown is there. Demon 1 with 2, drops the smoke, the spike now, stranded in Arcade. What a cascade of tragedies here for DRX. Smoke again coming down, but he spots the raise before the blue swings on the corner, and he's on for the ace! 
Zest lingering above. He spotted it. He's got it. Six to one off the back of the ace. Damon one shuts it down. The man is dangerous no matter what. Doesn't matter if he's on a controller or a duelist. He is absolutely phenomenal. 11 and one right now for Demon and one on this map. Just beautiful. Out of charges. And obviously, I mean, not, not even at the fault. I mean, the, the shots are just nasty. Not even at the fault of Buzz, but it's the decision to go through Arcade up into the site itself. Yeah. He doesn't go up into tower. If he does that, he can look down, he can get that peak, he can identify that Demon 1 is in that position. So even if he just doesn't want to throw the showstopper there, he can at least alert the rest of the team, but because of the pathing choice, they don't manage to find that, and it all comes tumbling down. DRX gambles that nobody's going to be behind that box. Nobody had been playing that position yet for EG, and EG just doing a great job of diversifying their setups and catches DRX completely off guard, and it just shows you why they're the masters of this map. Buzz does get a tag with the Marshal. One into the shoulder there, Demon 1, right creeping forward. Right Buzz comes dropping down, and there's the headshot through the Viper Wall. Doesn't matter. We talk about how much obfuscation you can get. Denying these lineups, denying information, but when Demon 1 just does that, doesn't matter how many walls, how many smokes you have. And it's another orbital strike. Rapidly built up. They just stay tucked into this pit. Jogamo as well, showstopper at the ready. So if the orbital strike doesn't get him, that certainly could. Called in, Zest makes his exit. Everybody pulling away in time. Jogamo eating some damage just to try to rush forward. Sends up the showstopper, doesn't manage to find him. And Zest with a sheriff comes up with one. Busia, however, drops it. The Jordy kill comes across. Made it out. Buzz, headshot, point blank on the comm. Finds the elimination, gets another paint shell. Sends it over towards the diffuse, just trying to buy some time. Demon 1 is going to be taken down, and they realize there's just no time remaining. RB, he assists. They get the kill. They get the round win. It's a MasterCard thrifty of all ways for DRX to find a second round win. Buzz comes up with a hero play. The desk was hyping him up, and he gave you a bit of a show right there. Nice Marshall kill with that paint shell. He's able to reload out another paint shell by a little bit of extra time. Demon 1 continues to be a nightmare on this map. The Five HP. RB almost just, getting oh. it, but... <laughs> Just insane. It's okay. I mean, you can see Buzz still got a smile on his face. DRX still feeling confident. This team has, I think you could say, maybe the best mental out of anybody on the planet. They have faced the most trials and tribulations at global events compared to anybody. And somehow, time and time again, it just seems like they're able to come through. We all know it certainly didn't used to be that way. No. We, we were there for the dark days, Achilles. Yeah. I mean, we're talking about strong mental... EG has to be in that conversation as well. Oh, no I mean, doubt. That entry interview from Busio as he gets ready to come into the venue saying, you know, I think we're, we're just having more fun than everybody, and I think that's why we're able to vibe and keep the spirits high and whatnot. I don't know if they're having more fun than Paper X, but they're still having a hell of a lot of fun. Nobody has more yeah. fun than Paper X. <laughs> off shot, pull back off the angle here. There's all of this KJ util ready and raring to go. Armbot going to be sent off. Buzz jumps up over the top, clears the turret. Checks, make sure that everybody else is safe to push forward. It's just going to be this corner plant here, right pressure. on the edge from Stacks. A lot of pressure on Mako here. Oh, yes. Can he hold the line? He's been so good for it in the past. That's going to be the first one. Lockdown now going to be used. Rolling Thunder pushing absolutely everybody back. Responding Rolling Thunder is absolutely necessary. Comes through, but Mako's still stranded. He gets taken down. Lockdown as well. Put in here for Bustio. Com watching that door. It's been so good from it. He has been. Doors open. Com finds a kill. Stacks, however, shuts it down. Demon 1, Com both going to be eliminated. Now Ethan rushing for the swing on the corner. Zest finding one. Now gets himself into a 1v1 versus Bustio. There's the first bite. 52 HP. The time dwindling down. Bustio creeping away. Realizes that this one is lost and he just has to hold on to that operator. So will make his exit. And DRX again. A bloody brawl. Don't walk away with too many people left standing. But they do find themselves a third round. And a certified Mako moment here. Being very aware of this fast rotation from EG on the retake. Able to do enough damage, even with that rolling thunder coming through in the counter from Stax. Able to find two big kills of his own. He's been a little quiet so far this map. Now finding his, in fact, his first two kills I was say. for Stax. <laughs> And half of Mako's kills, both of Stax's kills, right there in that round. But a timeout going to be called here from Coach Potter. Sees DRX at the halfway mark of catching up and 
doesn't like that, so wants to pump the brakes. Yeah, absolutely. I, I do as much damage as you can here because this is DRX's half pick. They picked this side. They expected to do some serious damage on this attacker side on this map. They usually do. And certainly, yeah, he's, he's got stacks for days. You bet. You, be, you better bet. But Pressure going to be mounting here, though. Yeah. He's oh. still in a comfortable position. A couple more rounds on this half, even. You're going to be feeling all right. Oh, but certainly. Stop DRX from getting to that. You know, at this point, a godsend in a six and six. That's what this timeout is all about. Yeah, exactly. I, I mean, if DRX can do that, who knows? Maybe they've got enough momentum. Maybe they've got their defender side uh, tweaked and polished enough that they can get it done. But again, typically, the attacker side is where I am always keen to see DRX do the lion's share of their damage. Back now, I see that Nano right outside a drop, expecting potentially some kind of dish hit is EG, but in fact, DRX is yeah. just kind of playing with this B side once again, same toxic screen uh, we see every time, kind of just the quote unquote default here for DRX on this attacker side so far this map. I'm wary about that peak coming through off the back of the fault line once that stun would have expired. So far, seeing nothing. His buzz is going to be the one creeping forward. If he can clear Arcade, that means that RB can really wrap around with them. But turret also set up. Hasn't alerted anybody. It seems like they should be okay. Okay, Giacomo. Take it out. His S just goes in here. Unassisted. Find contact. Just swing in the corner. Manages to find that kill. After shock as well as that Molly up in towards tower to try to flush somebody out. Shorty drawn in, but Buzz somehow must have gotten a spot there on Nabusio before he could have gotten into the smoke. And now this lurk from Zest. He's been trying it time and time again. It comes to fruition. He finds the kill. Com shut down. Ethan and Demon 1 is going to have to back away. Yeah, and now finally EG's in a spot where their economy is in a slightly downed state. So they have to just pull back here. And, and some good picks here for DRX. This has been something that has been impressing me so far in Champions. Usually, you don't think of DRX as like a team that isolates fights, that likes to go out oh. and try to do those. Oh boy, that is absolutely nasty. Yeah, we saw him right before he could get into the smoke. Dude, Zest is in some of the best form I've ever seen him right now. I mean, he knows the importance of all this, all of the doubts that have been cast on him. And this is, again, the desk was talking about it, Doug, bringing this up. Having to sit back and, you know, see the argument happening, unfolding online about should it be Foxy9, should it be Zest, who's been there since the beginning. No, well, he's here. He's picking up Viper, something that he hasn't really played until right. this tournament. And he's been looking damn good on it for the side of DRX. But now, for online, EG still out in the lead, but shrinking with every passing round. Three consecutive at the moment here for the side of DRX. An orbital strike still online. The only ult in play going into this next round. Yeah, and I mean, just to kind of tag on with Zest. I mean, again, if people aren't super familiar with him, he used to be mainly a Sova specialist, but on this map would play a lot of fade and do tons of effect to set up RB on his Neon uh, in their old comp. But here, switching over to the Viper, finding so far some decent value. I wouldn't say as much as I was hoping for uh, in terms of moving over to this Viper for this map. Now, Buzz, Mako, Stacks up on the north side of the map. This time they're flipping the script a little bit here, sending RB to watch into the sewers. Mako's already got the orbital strike online. Well, it's a couple away from the showstopper. One away from the Hunter's Fury for Com. <laughs> he learned from that Demon <laughs> 1 ace. They check the box, make sure he's not there. Better safe than sorry. Push in, Zest again, just trying to take this fight. Flash hadn't even connected. Jogamo just gets the headshot. In the meantime, drone out from Com, spotting at least one player over towards Arcade. Ping down onto the smoke. Seems like they are very well aware that there's going to be somebody lurking forward out of main. Clear under the Nana Swarm. Can't find it in time. Demon 1 gets Mako. Push out of the smoke. Bustio going to be taken down. RB finding one, but Demon 1 is very much still here to play. Finds himself a third before falling. Plus trying to drag this one back, but now finds himself falling as lonesome. Spike recovered. Not ready for the swing out here over by Tree. Gets taken down, and EG get themselves up to seven. Great discipline here from EG. Just kind of smother DRX out through this round. And Demon 1 still just dialed in, Sorry, kid. destroying these rounds. Absolutely just crazy good how he reacts. Stax knows he's right there, still can't get the spray under control before Demon 1 can. Coming into the final round of the half. 
Still got the Showstopper and the Orbital Strike for Mako. Orbital Strike for Demon 1 as well. I think that's his third one of the half, if I'm not mistaken. I believe you're right. It's just been building these up so rapidly. Showstopper entry in the meantime over here towards A. Just RB still hovering on that north side. Now going to be roping across as Nano Swarms do find a decent amount of damage. Showstopper over towards CT. Not going to be able to find anything, though. Already off the angle. Plant can come in once again. Right on the corner. Mako has to commit to this one. That's going to be him escaping with just 10 HP. Buzz now down to eight. The tag comes in. Calm. We say it time and time again, but it seems like he's just always good for at least one with these Hunter's Furies. And now he's going to go on the rotate. Swinging all the way back across through that Ooh. attacker spawn. Jogamo up over the top. Has he spotted Zest? I don't believe so, but now he has. He gets him in his sights. He takes him down. Stacks in the corner. Mako dead. Has the volley been sent? It has, but it's off the mark. And either way, it would not matter, it would seem. Time aplenty here for the side of EG. And that is going to be them dominating with an 8-4 here in the first half. Yeah, just brilliant stuff here from EG. The patience to just back off off of the showstopper. And even though DRX tries to play this post plant in this back line, they're still One getting cut down. Remaining. Great job. I mean, uh, top to bottom here for EG. You've got to love what you see. You should expect this, though. This is their map. So smart from Calm again, just knowing that there could be somebody riding right on the edge of that orbital strike, just trying to elude it. Very strong stuff here from the side of EG, but now let's go ahead and hear from Booster. We were able to catch up with him ahead of this about facing off against DRX once again. It feels very good, you know, after talking so much smack. As soon as we found out the bracket, I've been saying my career is over if we lose this. As a joke, of course, but, you know, to the fans, it might be over. So I think just talking smack is just really good for esports, great storylines, just like this match for CDG, and it's exciting. You know, I've been living here for eight months, so, you know, just having the fan support here, hearing our name here in USA, is pretty sick, to be honest. It's an amazing feeling. Steven one first on it, to try and clear left. through. Looks for the next target. Oh, it's gorgeous! Steven one! This guy is something else. Can you answer it again? Being commanded. Oh my word! I think we're just a good matchup against DRX. In my post-game interview, I said that we're gonna destroy them, and I'm very confident, which we are very confident against them. I think one of the strengths of DRX is their fundamentals. Even on EG, like when we're in practice, if it's like a 2v2 situation, then we just start saying DRX fundies, which just means DRX fundamentals. Where you're jiggling, you're making sure not to die no matter what. And so their fundamentals are super strong, but I think they're a little weaker against like really chaotic teams. So getting to that final stage is like a really big deal. It feels really good, to be honest. We got that taste of that in Tokyo. So yeah, we definitely want to make it to the Kia. So uh, just one more series and that's sick that we can make it there. One more series. Indeed, that is all that it comes down to to get yourself into that top three position potentially make it into the grand final and EG are very close just five rounds away from taking that first step to closing this one out it's just a disgusting first half for them I mean demon one absolutely online throughout the entirety of that half 19 and 3 on the score line for that just filthy good as you would expect with him he has really come online this tournament we are truly seeing peak demon one form so far and calm his signature pick on his signature agent on his signature map what, what else would you expect? He's unbelievable. Uh, so many impactful ults from him, from everybody on Evil Geniuses. And they certainly have shown you why most people completely and utterly avoid this map. And DRX may have fallen into the trap, may have overthought things a little bit for this map choice. A map that historically is good for DRX, but EG is a whole different animal. Feels like we haven't seen you know, this kind of setup from the side of DRX, that Neonless, you know, and stick, except for when Foxy9 was playing. That yeah. was when he was coming out here playing on that raise. And it was a very different look. You know, part of the reason why they pivoted back, having Zest come through and run that Neon, but yet again, opting to try to go for this. Quick rush forward, tap onto the spike, or onto the orb, I should say. The spike's not planted yet. But nobody's moving off of DRX. They've kind of got a decent read here. Kind of expecting uh, the rotate off of the turret contact there. And the pings are coming out here. Probably going to smoke off spawn and then try to get through for the hit. Bustio. And they're getting the sense of this. Yeah. Bustio Everybody in position. 
see how much contact DRX wants to give into this. That's the volley of Util going forward. Stack slowed him up just a little bit. Juggamo gonna be tagged down and actually taken out. Buzz finding one, one finding oh. three! The blink of an eye boosts you caught and what in the hell happened? The Prime Gaming flawless and blink and suddenly EG has just absolutely vanished. DRX pulling off one hell of a magic trick. We'll have to watch for the wait for the replay here. We take a look back at this. Buzz is even flashed off the rip and just ready to oh. rock and roll right off of it. And they're trying to come through drop and they are just smothered. I think DRX just reads that pistol round very nicely. Again, all it took was that turret contact on the B side. And they kind of expected the pivot, expected the drop from Dish and came right away, guns blazing and able to find themselves a much needed pistol run. Three Bulldogs and Ooh. Phantom as Sass just quick scopes in, takes out Demon 1. Still though, creeping forward, calm, tagged low, Sass managing to double up. Finds Ethan as well, Jogamo answering with one of his own. But now, Feld and it's just Calm and Busio remaining to see what they can get done. You see the rotate around the top side here, Busio looking to join in, start advancing forward in towards Arca Arcade, but there's still this KJ setup, that alarm bot will alert. Absolutely. I'm just gonna sneak through with the orb as well. Gonna get a little something out of nothing. Stacks will be keeping tabs on that arcade position, but they're gonna go back over towards the rope, and Buzz is awaiting They're over splitting. on that. Yeah. Did that orb, did he grab it in time before Calm would have gotten into audio range? That's the question right now. Does he know that there's still gonna be someone lingering forward, but Buzz actually pulls off the angle. Shifting away. Noise made. Gets tucked, still wary that there could be somebody on that north side approach. There's a dart revealing left. nothing. Smoke comes down to try to make it a bit of an easier job for him, and Buzz will be able to go ahead and work them down. Two kills for him. Zest the only one taken out, but weapon's not lost. DRX, two rounds away from tying this one up as we get ready to go into their bonus. Yeah, a solid hold here from DRX, and now let's see how much damage they can do. It is going to be even stacks. Upgrading to that Vandal. So DRX only dropping one player and going to upgrade that player with a gun. The Bulldog's so good for Zest over the years, man. Watched him time and time again. Just be absolutely nuts with that gun. But here, the full forces for EG. Only one half armor in the mix. Everybody else full up. And they're going to work this dish area a little bit. A lot of pressure here going to be on Mako. Although Stax is rotating over now. Let's see what we got here. A lot of utility for Ethan to work with to set up this entry for Jogamo. Spike is already here, so this there. is definitely going to be an A crunch, it looks like. Oh, and Buzz now going to be under a lot of pressure, too. They would love to be able to get up towards door, push that simultaneously as this swing in from Jogamo, and then maybe be able to find Mako. And now, though, it will be OK. The drone is going to be cleared out. EG backing away at least here for the moment. Do they draw any rotations is the question. See the push up, Mako and Buzz looking to investigate over towards that main side. Not really seeing much of anything though. And that's gonna bring Zest swinging right back over into B. They're about to be under so much pressure. Yeah, RB and Zest gonna have to go huge here. This dart and that clear of the turret. Let's see if that's gonna alert them or if EG, they still have enough time for one more pump to the other side of the map. Seconds left. And are they going to go for it? It yep, looks like it. Yeah, they back. Have to get through these front lines, though. Buzz taking a little bit of damage. It's going to be blast passing, packing back over onto the site, and they feel like that's enough. Hey, pivot back to B once again. Just swinging back and forth at, like a pendulum right now here on the map. But can they get there in time? Bite comes down. Spike, however, it's coming through the arcade side. They can get through, and Chogamo somehow gets that headshot onto Zest. Just bouncing forward. The Spike comes in with barely any time remaining. Paint shells across stacks. Work down to 77, the armor now gone. Yeah. Molly, a flash, a nade from Buzz. The tools to try to retake this one as EG get themselves fanned out. One in tower, one down to the grass, two back over in main. Blinding. Flash, not gonna be catching on to him. Swing can come back in. Stacks now all in his lonesome and he will be taken out. Demon one does manage to find it. They stretch the lead back up to three once again. Retained three of those weapons on the side of EG. <laughs> what a play from Jogamo here. I mean, DRX 
completely throwing everything at that choke point towards the B site. Oh and my he God! Just is nasty. His feet weren't touching the ground when he fired that shot. I'm pretty sure. That's unreal. That is unreal. Sometimes bullet spread doesn't matter if the barrel's just pushed up against their forehead, I suppose. He's, yeah, man, he's got that dogmo, dude. He is just absolutely unbelievable. What that an is... unreal entry. <laughs> I mean, oh, if man. he doesn't find that kill, the round is over. Yeah, There's absolutely. no way they're going to be able to get that planted in time. 100%. I mean, this is why, you know, we talk about this guy's raise so much. It's stuff like that that is just extraordinary. Just shooting that. Right on the nose of the turret there, finds the kill. Seth's playing the same spot this time. Does manage to stand his ground, takes out Dogamo. Not allowing him to close the gap. Fault line through. Spusier just staying quiet over on this arcade side. Ping's coming down. Spike's still in this position. because He's going to ride up on the rope. Shows a shoulder. RB is forcing him back out. Now RB just holding that angle tight. No more utility to speak of online currently for him. Turret on cooldown. Instead, they're going to try to push that to make sure that Bustio has cleared. Tom here, going to use that drone, but that's all just a bait to keep a couple members of DRX planted uh, okay. on their A site. Okay, Bustio. Seems like RB is not really registering that there's a kill joint in front of him. Maybe he thought he was looking into a mirror. Ooh. Either way, he gets taken out, and Ethan smoke. also winning the mirror matchup. Eliminate stacks. Spike still not brought forward, but now the rotation. Coming in once again, swinging their way over towards the A site where it's just Buzz. Moved up, grabbing the orb. He's got a showstopper online. Here's some boom butt, let loose. How much can he do as he waits for his comrades to try to join in? Paint shells to try and delay. Showstopper as well. Drawn out, Spike right up into the front. Sends out the rocket, finds one. Flies back on the side, puts out to Ethan. And that's going to be it. They cannot plant this in time. Mako. And now it's all on Zest just staying alive and he is nowhere to be seen. Oh, Buzz doing just enough to be able to get them this round win. Still bloody, just one player on either side. But EG cannot move up the double digits. I mean, EG just has done a really good job working the map in these last couple of rounds. But Buzz outplays them, gets that orb just in time to get to the showstopper when he knows if they come to him, they have no other choice. They have to hard press. There is not enough time to do anything else. And he can just delay, delay, delay with that raise utility and does a Phenomenal job with it. Buzz absolutely coming up huge once again for DRX. So far, top fragging. There. And he has been really impactful on this race. Again, separated by two. Hunter's very online, though, for calm, and we know how deadly that can be. Dart just pings one, Zest. In the meantime, spotting Bustio. Drops his way down. Site occupied by three at the moment here for the side of DRX to look to hold the line. Stax doesn't have a fault line, though. Clearing the nano there. Ooh, Garby's got to get out. Drops down. Gets himself tucked away, a bite to go ahead and further buy time for themselves. So just hoping for any kind of stray connection here with this spray through the smoke. So far, nothing being found. Another Sky Smoke going to be drawn down as well. Turn on the flash. Juggernaut looking to entry. Gets himself into the uh, underside of the side. Gets fallen, but Demon One just pushes forward. Finds RB. Suddenly, the man advantage is going to be there. And that can be weapons recovered as well. Demon One finds another. Takes out Mako. Nearly gets stacks. He's down to five. His buzz looks to answer back. Paint Shell's going a little bit too deep. Find 25 damage or so. They interrupts the plant for the time being. 30 seconds left. Boombot now chasing forward. They know that it's just a 1-1 split, and this Rolling Thunder could be monstrous! Pushes them all back, Buzz! No way! Kami just draws out the knife, and he shuts him down! Five health to get Evil Geniuses up to ten! <laughs> Unbelievable! What a reaction! What a play! <laughs> that is unthinkable that Kam can get to the knife in that moment and get the kill. I mean, this guy has done it all. Utility kills, gun kills, flanks, and now a knife. Unbelievable stuff on this round, and EG displaying tremendous patience here, <laughs> waiting out the utility of DRX. Uh, you can see some of the game plan for DRX in this map is to just really gum up the chokes out of the attacker side, whether it be on A or B, and just somehow, some way, EG with the, the Jogamo jump in, and now the calm knife, just special stuff here you're seeing from EG in this map. I mean, they're just pulling miracles.
out of the nether regions here. Is that <laughs> unbelievable. But I mean, you have to just really give that up to Calm's reaction time. Just absolutely gorgeous. RB trying to go for a bit of a tempo push here, but just gets cut down. Minimal damage dealt. Get the blast pack in onto the side plant coming through as well. G now established here on B. Really tough retake coming, especially given the situation of the lack of guns here. Just Launching sheriffs smoke. and a ghost for the side of DRX and even alt in EG's hands if things go real sideways for them. Fault line not going to be finding much there. Stacks looks to lead the charge. Demon 1 backing off. Buzz still trying to approach from behind, but he is just completely locked in position by the alarm box. And he has to clear. Now out into the open, puts a bit of damage down on Apustio, but he takes far more in return. Swing out, <laughs> Demon 1 gets the gorgeous one tap onto Stacks. And that is the cleanup. Another prime gaming flaws here is EG taking yet another step to closing out our first map. I mean, Demon 1 is so scary right now. He is just completely dialed in. Seems like every time you give him any opportunities, he is just going to find those headshots and take you down quick. That one tap, beautiful stuff. And this is just a, a master class from EG in a couple of these rounds where they really are able to just weather and dissect any of the utility that DRX tries to throw at them. They've kind of figured it out. So now DRX has to take a break. They have to try to figure out, okay, our initial plan here of buying a lot of time at the entries, trying to catch them as they're going for their executes hasn't been working so far. I think they got to start working the map a little bit more. I think they got to start trying to get into the flanks of EG. I think they got to start seeing if they can catch players a little bit off guard. I know EG likes to take a lot of time. They like to work the map. But you Demon time indeed. Yeah, you got to try something different. And just as an update, as we'll get ready to see. 26, 6, and 6. <laughs> Demon 1 is online. As is that orbital strike. I mean, you see some of the alts here that TRX have to work with. Strong ones, yes. But a showstopper and an orbital strike on the opposite side, that could shut down a pit with relative ease. Buzz now, though, going to be looking to do something we haven't seen so far. He's going for the operator, try to just catch them off guard. There. Change up the pace a little bit more here. But as we can see, everybody on EG is piled up and has their sights set on B. Yeah, toxic screen going to be cutting off Arcade this time. And now Mako had pushed up towards Dish. Poison Cloud going to be sent over towards that B entrance. Once again, the full forces here already pushing in. I like what Buzz is doing. He's trying to take space early. He's just execute here. Going to push RB out of the tower. They fault lined him as well. Try to slow him up. There's a the showstopper, but he manages to take down Jogobo with him. It's going to be a two for two, but now traded up as calm, but also find stacks to boot. Tap onto the spike to commit here to the plant. Mako not wanting to spike send in planted. that orbital quite just yet. Buzz trying to get himself in a position. Nobody to challenge him over here at Tree. Mako can be looking on the angle. Buzz just trying to work his way in, but with this operator. If He's they can't, away from yeah, a showstopper. If they can't find a kill here. Time is ticking, but they're just not giving him an angle. The only person that he'll really be able to spot is going to be Demon 1. Mako, however, swings onto the corner, managing to find one. Turn set up, up, clears that out, swaps over the Vandal, but he's only got seven bolts remaining in that one. Paint shells up over the top, the swing coming through. They're trying to stick to this one. Goes low, Mako just trying to be the defender. Swings back out, Calm will get him! A 4K to take it up to map point in a Red Bull clutch. Calm continues to deliver. It's just an absolutely... Stunning map here from Calm and Demon 1 in particular. Everybody on Evil Genius is doing a lot of great stuff, but those two have really excelled Calm. Hunter's Fury back on board. And now, map point here for EG. DRX needs to pull out another miracle. They're going to keep this map alive if they're going to send it to overtime. They have everything in the kitchen sink. Stacks literally one away from the Rolling Thunder. It's a couple Guardians, though, as the money went sideways for DRX. Oh my Showstopper. God. Does he realize where Chagamo's at? Buzz will be able to get him in the in the end. Tracks him down. 27 HP remaining. Just staying silent. Staying tucked against the wall for a brief little moment. He does manage to keep his life intact. Decent early kill found. And Ethan taken down to one health. Buzz and Mako both battered and bruised as well. DRX so weak. And a couple of big alts in those weak players. Especially that orbital strike. That one you'd really like to keep online for these post plants.
possible, or at least to delay the plant comm. So diligent with the utility. And of course, don't forget that Hunter's oh. is, oh my god. I mean, Mako just pulled the trigger and he finds two. Ethan Encom gonna be taken down. Boosio forced out front by the paint shells. And now it's all down to Demon 1. And a 1v4. Got the spike. Spike recovered. 46 Most seconds down. to play with the push under the corner. There's the first. Buzz taken out. Rolling Thunder is online, but Stax would love to not have to use that, and he won't. Zest will get the headshot there with the Guardian. They can upgrade those to proper rifles. And that is going to be DRX grabbing a lifeline, but they still need to do that four more times. And even then, we're just into overtime. It's brilliant timing here on this orbital strike. Uh, completely catches them off guard right as they're going up this rope. Not much opportunity to go one way or another. Of course, that one HP, that doesn't help either, but that is a really beautifully timed ult from Mako. Four more to go for DRX and still able to hang on to the lockdown. And now they have the Rolling Thunder and the Viper's Pit available. Kam has the ability to clear that lockdown with that Hunter's Fury, although he's quite comfortable just yeah. using it to clear a player. Yeah. Smoke comes down, run goes out. There's the tag, there's the Hunter's Fury. Buzz up over the top, manages to get clipped. Comes back down the staircase, eludes the final shot. Swing into the corner spots, Jogamo takes a little bit more damage. The entry, getting ready to come through, but Buzz finds the headshot as he's midair. Dark Pink does go, go across. I believe Mako going to be revealed. Swing into the smoke and stacks. Shuts down Bustio. Seems like for now, DRX should have this one in hand, but Kam is still in the lobby, so anything is possible. As long as he's backed up by Demon 1. Smoke's here. Dissipating, and now... Is that just going to blind swing? He's not doing it against someone I'd want to. Certainly not. Barely manages to get away with his life. He's really playing a very risky game here. Situated back over towards spawn. Spam to try to check. Top side of the site. Nothing found. How do you break out of this position if you're EG? Standing ahead. Dark goes. Cleared. Knows that there's going to be one at stairs. The rest all just down to suspicions, seconds, down yeah. to game sense to try to get a raid. Buzz in the meantime. Finding one. Swing out on a rope. And it is going to be a prime gaming flawless this time for the side of DRX. Right, good patience here from especially Zest, making sure that he doesn't take any unnecessary fights uh, by the ropes and just kind of working their spawn position nicely. He adds up to the tower and just Sometimes finds the backstab at the end. But just good discipline here from DRX. They're not really kind of, you know, overextending themselves. They're, they're, they're really able to hold these sites nicely when they can kind of find those opening picks. They got him, and they get, we're able to do this without having to commit any ultimate. They get yeah. the Hunter's Fury now away from Calm, which means that this lockdown from RB, should they use it in this round, is pretty much going to be guaranteed to find value and not be destroyed unless they can get a push onto it. Reveal coming through, though, and Calm finds the punish. The recut again, setting him up, and Mako dead on the opposite side as Bustio pushes his way up through Arcade. Stacks tries to find a timing, tries to swing the corner, but Chogomo shuts him down. And suddenly it's just RB and Zest left standing a 2v5 to try to keep this one going. Otherwise, EG will kick off this series 1-0. Just messing with those util combos. So dangerous the way that Ethan and Com in particular stagger their utility. Yeah. Those flashes and stuns into the recon. Now RB, yes, the lockdown is here. Yes, Zest has the Viper's Pit, but they've got to get to the position to even put it down. Jogamo going to have to slide over to the side here. Zest, does he realize this? Yes, he does. Finds that first kill. Bustio trying to hold this corner. Fault line. Zest just waiting it out and eating so much damage. Vulnerable still through. Finds the kill, but surely it can't happen, right? Yeah. The aftershock comes in. Time going to be bought. RB eliminated, and that is just it. The util, they drown in it. EG. Will claim a win here on Fracture. Their map pick 13 to 9 to kick off this series. Everything you've come to expect from EG on this map. So many great utility usages, just beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous here from the side of EG DRX, though. They have their map pickup loaders on the horizon. Can they win there? We'll have to just wait and find out. Bringing in a new roommate to save money, is that the plan? Well, we got to find some way to save, so say hi to Glenn from work. Hey, that's my mom. Yeah, I think I have a much better plan. We switched to my plan from Verizon for just $25 per line. And that price is guaranteed for three years. All on the network we can count on. It's a good plan. It is a good plan. Glenn, looks like we're not going to be needing you, so I'll see you at work. 
Okay. Later, everyone. Save big with my plan, starting at just $25 when you bring your own phones. Guaranteed for three years. It's your Verizon. Red Bull gives you wings. EG, take Fracture against DRX to start off the series here. I'm joined by Coach Potter after the win. Your players, Potter, oftentimes talk about how much value you provide in the timeouts to find adaptations in the middle of games. What do you think makes you so good in those moments you get to talk to your players? Um, it's tough to say each timeout is a little bit different, but I guess um, the biggest factor is just the trust in the players. I rarely take timeouts pre the seventh round. Um, leading up to that, we've already kind of discussed our game plan, our reactions, and what to expect. So if I'm timing out before that seventh round, something went wrong usually is what that means. But um, yeah, our timeouts are, are different every time. Sometimes I'm reinforcing the W rounds and making sure we stick to our game plan. And sometimes I'm like, okay, we got to change it up. We got to change it up right now. So it, it just, it varies. Yeah. Well, the plan worked in map number one. Let's see if that continues in the second. Best of luck and thanks very much. Thank Back you. to you guys. EG, their game plan worked on Fracture. What a surprise. When will teams learn, Doug and Sean? You just can't go there against this team. Their Fracture is too good. I, it, we talked about it at the beginning, right? Either it's a brilliant idea and Termi has something cooked up that's going to shock the world, or you're just going to get diffed. And I think now that we've seen on the other side of it, yeah, they put up nine rounds. Yeah, they had some cool ideas. You don't take EG to Fracture. You just don't. No, it's not even anymore that it's just set plays. It's the comfortability of yeah. every single player on EG on yeah. this map. They look amazing in their individual duels. Their crosshair placements, S tier on the map. And if you look at their win percentage in those 10 games, or I'm sorry, the last 11, yeah. 10 and one, they've won two thirds of their rounds on both halves. Yeah, it's That's just insane. Nice. Yeah, it's insane. They're the best in the world on Fracture, hands down. Yeah, they are. And again, I think uh, DRX might have taken an unnecessary risk, perhaps going there. And of course, one of the stronghold uh, of this Fracture comp of EG is comms Sova. We see a so many time Sean order the util but also just individually he's been fragging out on top of that yeah look at this look at this package of these darts I mean it's just it's insane he is the person that made Sova playable on this map before calm locked Sova everyone thought it was a joke yep. to lock Sova on fracture because of the elevation changes it's very different all the little nooks and crannies but when you watch calm use Sova his ults get so much value his darts to clear topside in the mid round on defense incredible in the post Plan. He has plays like this. They're unplayable because of this man. And I, I think a few things here. Yeah, he gets a ton of value off of the darts and things like that. But if you, like, with a closer look, <laughs> you, this was just silly. This had nothing to do with darts. But with a closer look, you understand. Ethan also does an insane job of yes. setting up for his utility to get value. The flashes that are used by Ethan in combination with comp's darts just make it to where everyone gets lit up, and yes. then they capitalize on that. And then last thing I wanted to mention about comp is it wasn't just utility this game. He no. played insanely well mechanically, yes. too. Like, comp, comp was just on a heater that game. A lot of crucial double kills, right? The early flanks of a main, the 1v2s we saw just there in the highlight package. In addition to the utility, I mean, we yeah. we always give him that praise. He gets that for free from us. But this was a mechanical game from Calm too. Yeah, even a cheeky knife kill in there yeah. as well. That was crazy. Uh, but let's move on to our Verizon high speed moment of the match, and that went to Demon One with a round seven dog ace. This was filthy. 
the last couple of shots, those two, I mean, maybe a little free, they're not shooting back at you, but the way he puts together the end of this, the last shot was just, I mean, that's insane. crispy. Right, and we were actually talking about it during the match, like the individual, just like the raw aim mechanics that Demon One has and brings into every Out single series that he plays, it's, it doesn't even really matter that you have him on a brimstone. Yeah. If you've got Jogamo who can who can still frag the way he does on uh, on Raze, and then you've got a Brim who's yeah. putting up numbers like that, what was he at half? Like tw twenty one and three or yeah, something was stupid insane. like that? Like, yeah. there's just so much value that he offers. It's it is crazy to see someone with the skill of Demon One, the capability on the operator, willing to use the Vandal, and not only that, he wants to, actually. Yeah, yeah, you read his yeah. most recent tweet, he actually prefers to be a Vandal Phantom-type player, and it shows his one-taps are ridiculous. Huh? You know him for his one-taps. <laughs> yeah, he knows for it's that. definitely Demon one that's known for that. Uh, but we heard from Coach Potter. Let's see what Coach Tammy had to say ahead of map two. Down a map in the series, I'm joined by DRX's coach Termi and Jennifer Translations. Uh, Termi, you've already played against EG. You guys lost to them in Tokyo. What did you learn from that match that you can bring to this second map to prevent the same from happening? Um, EG is very tactically good team. I always feel like they are a good team. And this time, when we play the first match, we always feel like the players are a good team. But I think we can win the first match in the first match in the second match. Well, EG, obviously, they have great strategies, but I feel like coming into Champions, uh, the DRX boys, they take, they do need a little bit of time to warm up, and we uh, do have that slow start tendency for this tournament, but I just feel like map two and three, we can win them. Well, still two more maps in the series. Best of luck, coach, and back over to you guys at the desk. I mean, Tammy is right. This tournament, map one, they've either gone to OT and lost, or OT and won, or everything is just super, super, super close. They have been slow. He is right. They do have a chance to get back into this, and Sean, that will start with Lotus. And I think this is a good pick by DRX. Honestly, the, the crazy thing about this veto is, outside of the fracture part, I like the map pool right now for DRX. Lotus is a map they've looked great on throughout this tournament. I think Buzz, in particular, on the raise, creating space in the C site on attack half is such a pleasure to watch. Well, let's take a look at the Prime Gaming Agent Select and see what comp uh, EG are going to bring up. Would you look at this? It's the return of the Demon 1 Astra. Yeah. I don't know what I think about this, Doug. I, I, I think this I is a good pivot off of what they brought in Tokyo. They're, I think yeah. Lotus was probably the weakest map in their pool at that time. Outside of, you know, their force ban in Bind. They, they needed to make an adjustment, and I think this is what they went with. Demon One shows that he can use the rifle really, really well in these controller roles. Yeah, I think, honestly, uh, the question around Demon One on Astra, I don't, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I, genuinely, I don't care. You know what is going to yes. be good for? You know Ethan's going to set up, not only set up his players, but the info he's going to be able to grab passively from his utility is insane. I, I really like this comp from EG. I think, again, I have a hard time thinking about why, why if you're DRX, why do you want to start the series down a map I already? Mean, maybe right? they're trying to take Demon out of this game. Brim, Astra, Astra. <laughs> he plays Astra on Split. Yeah. I mean, I, they wouldn't have been able to foresee this, right? Just because no, you said yeah, that no. EG, they haven't played it They're in going into the blind here, Yeah, for sure. And it, is that a good thing or a bad thing? I think that's a pretty good thing for EG, who, whose Potter's been known to prep really heavy into the antis. DRX mm -hmm. has played this map a few times now in this tournament. So I'm looking for some set plays coming from Potter on probably pistol, bonus, and all plays. Well, EG, they are just one map away from that upper bracket final. DRX, they have to dig a little bit deeper. Achilles and Paper Thin, if they want to come back into this one. That they do, for sure. Plenty of work to be done here for the side of DRX to get themselves back into this. And I mean, again, an unexpected comp on Fracture, now into an unexpected map pick from the side of DRX. Up to go for Lotus, something that they were stay, straight away for, uh, from for the longest time, the entirety of Pacific. We did not see them play it until the grand final. They have looked immensely improved on this map, but still, to favor this one coming into this series, certainly taking us by surprise. Yeah, and some really interesting changes here for Evil Geniuses as well coming into this map. You know, with Demon 1 on that Astra, with Giacomo on that raise, a lot of extra ability to clear space, to play post-plant potentially here for EG compared to their Jet Omen comp that they used to run. Uh, previously on this map, where they were doing it at Tokyo, and it's a fast hit here for Giacomo! Oh, I don't think they turned far enough for that flash, and Mako can't get it done. 
Barely any damage even found. He's just scratched. Demon Wong in the meantime, swinging around the backside, finds himself two kills. Stax can only get Jogamo. They'll stop it from being a flawless. But EG with the quick hit. They get themselves in, they get themselves a win. It's just fast and furious here. I mean, again, another great setup with the utility. Flash out in front, catches. Two players of DRX completely flat-footed. And Demon One not missing a beat. I have a laugh out of Zest, though. I'm going to tell you, you don't see that every day, folks. He's usually pretty stoic. Yeah. This is still not a position that you want to be in. No. Losing out on these pistols. Another here to the side of EG. Push forward. Quick dissipate and just gonna be the orb grab. Seems like yeah, getting these showstoppers online is gonna be a very big priority for the side of EG. Absolutely. Love to clear space. Meanwhile, DRX is gonna four stack a push through B here. Gonna set up right around the corner. Hoping that maybe, you know, a lot of teams like to try to make this B site go on their anti ecos. With, that, oh. with the way that turret set up. I mean, Demon One, yeah. he's just set to try to maybe even get the wall bang on the box, but no, it looks like he will just, they sat back, but eventually gets him right through that tiny little corner. Takes him out. Link door already broken. Smoke's coming up, they start pushing forward, and Snacks can't stop them. Two quick kills now, found Buzz on the swing, does manage to get the headshot across. Takes out Jogamo, but Calm is very quick on the reply. Strikes him down. Just Mako and RB left standing. Did opt to invest in for this ghost. See so if they can deal any additional damage here. Two kills is what would really start uh, working against the economy of EG, because otherwise they do have that sheriff in the hands of Bustio. So if he falls, they don't lose too much of anything. Oh, but I think he has no intent to fall whatsoever. And that's just going to be another 2 0 start here. EG kicking things off very nicely. What a nasty shot from Bustio. Catching Mako right as he's starting to back off towards the eastern side of that site. Just absolutely nuts stuff. And yeah, a lot of weaponry able to be carried over for EG. A Guardian, a Phantom, Bulldog, Stinger, Spectre. Remaining. So a lot of variety playing gun game over here is Evil Geniuses. On the other side, DRX, of course. Going to be into their first very important buy here. A lot of Astra Stars over on to C to try to catch RB. He just barely gets away. Grab well, trying to lock him in place. He just managed to get away from this one, but RB firing back. Vandal does manage to come up with the goods. Finds the opening kill. Takes quite a bit of damage in the exchange. As the Trailblazer will go chasing forward, looking for a little bit more. Lucio grabbed up, caught with Util in hand though. RB peeking back out, finds himself a second. Tom has found a little bit of space here over towards B. Gonna open the door, try to rotate in. Alarm bot there to alert DRX and Buzz. The presence. Yeah, there it is. He's gonna use that snake bite to cover that angle. But they're gonna rotate back to C, perhaps? Or yeah. At least That's what it looks put like. it in their brains that this could be the play, but yeah, they're pushing forward with that spike. Wide swing around here from Calm. It's gonna go all the way back around towards mound. Flash in, but not ready for Zaz. Backwater just goes ahead. Gets that kill, now the spike dropped right here on the edge of the poison cl cloud. Poison's off. And as he drops it, we'll just pull away, denying the angle. So tough for EG to get through here. Just a guardian and a bulldog. Try to spam this smoke, see if they can get lucky with somebody. Trying to get a little over eager, but the discipline from DRX right now, good enough that they haven't forfeited over any extra damage. Popped up on that nebula, but the time running out at this point is about trying to deal some damage here for the side of EG. Take some of these weapons out of the hands of DRX, as otherwise they are very much poised to get this as a flawless. Well, not going to reveal. Spray looking for it. Will be able to find him, so the Bulldog will be lost. Zest finds himself a second elimination, and DRX get themselves here on the board, not allowing for EG to get that conversion. Yeah, and it's just so huge that RB is able to get away from this grab well in time to find that kill. Gets dinged up a little bit but able to hold the line for the second, and then just kind of not really fighting too hard on anything that Alarm Bot able to keep B safe from a plant for EG, for DRX, I should say. And let's see, with a lot of players here, this looks like some kind of crunch towards the A main door. Paranoia, 
Pain shells out. Just betting perhaps a jump forward there. But still, it looks like they're trying to go for B again, trying to clear that alarm box. I know it's here somewhere. But they're missing it, <laughs> yeah. can't quite get it, though. <laughs> it's just a little bit off kilter from where it was previously. That's a lot of util for an alarm bot there. That's nothing wrong with that for DRX. So a nice little micro change for RB. I'm trying to go for the lineup. And any moment now. <laughs> <laughs> it's waiting for the rest of the team to perhaps get into a position here. I mean, I get it. I, I want to watch comms lines up lineups too. I mean, come on, like this is. I'm a lineup, Larry. I'm all about oh. it. Oh, boo. And he abandons it. Thinks better of it. <laughs> In the meantime, this has just been running the clock down. 40 seconds remaining now. A minute gone. It's a bit of a fake over towards C. Does have the attention currently of about two players. You see the back and forth here from Stacks. Creeping around over at Waterfall. This Buzz just looking to hold by the door. Mako situated on the site. Poison Orb across. Buzz. To make the call, the rotations can start to come in and run across and buzz. Finds Bustio. That's the spike down. Spike down. will force him off the angle and actually claims the kill. He couldn't get away from it nearly fast enough. And now, showstopper out for Jogamo. Mako finding one. Plant coming in with just a few seconds to spare. It's going to be a 3v3. The rocket, everyone playing so far back, won't be able to find any value. But the site is theirs and Mako's tagged up. Not much utility here for this retake. A seize, a snake fight. Mako smokes. Gonna have to get it done with a lot of gunplay. Swing on the corner, Zest showing his arm for a brief little moment. Turns away, expecting the flash now and hits, but it also connects on the Jogamo. Reveal out from the haunt, swing onto the corner, stacks. Comes away with that elimination, but Mako gonna be taken down simultaneously. Now we find ourselves here into the 2v2. Stacks getting away from that gravity well as best as he possibly can. Zest putting Ethan down to 10 HP, but Ethan, he's got just a narrow enough position to find stacks. And team in one swings in from Link to get the kill. Two members left standing. EG will not allow for DRX to tie us up. And the discipline here from EG is so good. And somehow, some way, that paint shells find Buzz. And that really turns this round on its head because it gives the showstopper to Jogamo. It clears the space that they can use to plant on to be here. You know, Buzz expecting Spike it to down, stop, but it just rolls please. far enough down the stairs that it catches him. Already dinged up a little bit. And then again, the haunt about the only thing you have for clearing space outside of some mollies and a seize. There. And EG so good with those crossfires, so disciplined there. Quick push towards the dunes for Jogamo. Seeing again if they can catch somebody in that grab well, but off the back of that, they're able to secure an alt orb for themselves. Swarm grenade Use a swarm out. grenade and put a little pressure towards C, keep their back safe while they push through towards the door into B. Once again, we've got a lot of DRX lurking here. Banano in position to try to peel some pressure on you this approach. Run. Lockdown is going to be invested. Tyler sent to hunt forward. Trailblazer as well what coming fighting? through. Let's want to buy some time. And the Swarm will delay for a little bit longer. We still have to respect this one though. It's Mako going to be detained. No one in position to get the punish unless the swing out Spike wants planted. to come through here from Com, but he is playing this very quietly. Wants to go on a very late lurk it would seem. Whereas Ethan and Jogamo they want to take the fight towards this A side. And they're spreading out because the night falls online for stacks. Pop Flash didn't find anything. Mako stays safe for the time being. Buzz's attention now being drawn over towards the door is calm. This could be the moment. This could be the timing. Oh! That's all he is. Jogamo in the meantime, finding two. He just pushes up, gets them both. Demon one as well. Coming away with a kill. Stacks trying to push the issue. Almost gets Jogamo with Util in hand. But he cannot take him down on RP. He's just got to head for the hills, hold on to the Phantom, and just try to stay safe. But that's going to be the Operator lost, recovered by Calm, and EG moving up 4-1. to one. And it's just beautiful awareness here from EG, knowing the situation post-plant, knowing that one of the, the key pieces of utility was going to be that Nightfall, and not allowing it to catch more than maybe one or two members, and then holding the A-Link door. Oh. Well, just Absolutely beautiful. Double facing right into his crosshair, Jogamo. Talk about being stuck against him, just holding the line, not moving an inch. Well, Mako still playing in isolation. I'm sure the disappointment is shared between the entire team at the moment. Now for DRX, you're close to a couple big ultimates. You're close to the Viper's Pit, you're close to the Showstopper. It's gonna be a Phantom, a Marshal, a couple Sheriffs for DRX on this eco round. Oh, that haunt. Hunt gets a big reveal. Quick pop 
on that boom bot. Slide around the back. Buzz managing to find two, but there's just so many other players on DRX dead alongside him. Three now gone. Some decent damage dealt. With Ethan out of the fray, they can't heal him back up, but this is still a very rough position to be in, just given the weaponry, given the firepower that they have here. If you could somehow, some way, get a pick, get a gun upgrade for RB, potentially yeah. DRX could steal this round. But it's going to be so, so difficult in Jogamo. After this orb, going to be one away from another showstopper. Just having a phenomenal start to this map for EG. RB. Waiting around the corner with just a classic. Pain shells. Force him back. Force him down to half HP. Zest in the meantime, the one with any real firepower in the marshal. Ends up getting taken down. It's a pretty easy cleanup here. A decent effort there from the side of Buzz to come up with those two eliminations right off the rip. But in the end, it's Evil Geniuses now moving up 5-1. to one. I'm curious, this time around, when does Termi decide to pump the brakes? When does that timeout come in? Because you think back to that 2-10 run back that DRX just had versus Billy Billy. They were able to run it back when they were on the defending side. Exactly. And I mean, I think for now, Termi is going to have the confidence potentially to let them roll on a little bit. Some big ults, again, for DRX. Buzz trying to gain space. Has to come up short because of that snake bite. Now, EG really playing cautiously. Taking their time once again. Bustio gonna try to clear with this op. Zest yeah. pulling the corner on the other side and it's ping there. They're expecting someone to come through there and asking for a little help watching that corner as Bustio gets hacked up by the alarm bot. The snake bite gonna force him back. Now break on the door. Draws his attention away from Zest, so can't just quite hold that angle. Calm though. Just listening to the haunt will very swiftly be cleared, but Stack's able to hear it. At least two different gunshots. You know, so there's still fairly heavy presence creeping its way up into B. Works forward, the flash in, Zest can't get the turn in time. Stack's coming away with one, but Bustio getting the other, and now swaps over the Sheriff, and he guns down the IGL for DRX. Buzz arrives, finds Demon 1. Still much more work to be done. That showstopper's still in the back pocket here. No blast packs, though. Get in. Very true. Oh. Poor timing there from the side of Ethan. Thought he could advance forward, not getting any kind of audio cue. Swing coming in, RB there with covering fire, but now Comp off on the flank. The showstopper already burnt. They can't use it. They're trying to flush him out. Buzz falling lower and lower, and OP has no health, and he has no hope in hell. A 3K from Comp, a smile on his face, and another round win for EG. And just a little bit of kind of Disarray here for DRX on this plant, on this post plant, on this defuse. It's last player standing. Somebody could have just not held. They should have pulled up a little bit sooner. Stepping through that snake fight, getting vulnerable up and giving Khan the opportunity. And DRX gonna pump the brakes. No value found out of that showstopper really, other than clearing a little bit of space on site. So DRX here in disarray on their map pick, and now Achilles got to start kind of questioning the way that DRX came into today's map draft, into the way that they kind of thought about how this would roll out, because right now it is definitely not how they expected. Certainly not. Another dire beginning. It's the map. I mean, EG already being up to six. You know, again, yeah, we could say, all right, well, they're on the attacker's side. If, if we see DRX get up to four, something like that, eight, four scoreline, that's enough as they get ready to go on the attack themselves. But the shots aren't being connected, and given what we saw again from them versus Billy Billy, it feels like they need to have that stronger side on the defending half. No, absolutely. Absolutely. It's hard to imagine some kind of comeback unless it starts just about now, within the next round or two. The economy here, enough for half armor buys for DRX, but EG sitting pretty. The stacks starting to bank up on their side. DRX just doesn't quite seem comfortable today. It's, it's like they're just a little bit off in a lot of these moments. Some of the lack of coordination has lost them a couple very crucial rounds. And once again, hey, this B site, if it ain't broke, go fix it. This is going great. Jogamo's got the showstopper, gonna be able to clear some space. And oh boy, those shots from Stax made me think that he might pull the trigger there. All right, well, he just decides to hold this one. Spike planted. 
It does at least help keep it ambiguous as far as, you know, where he went. You can see that Prowler going forward from Stacks. They need to check the top side of the side. He is going to be cleared out. Inchel at the ready, sent forward. Oh, the flash also helps get a bit of damage there on RP as the lockdown will be destroyed. Blast packs sent flying, just looking to stave them off as much as humanly possible. Buzz, however, able to find one with the push into the smoke. Juggernaut's good for two. Lines him up. Buzz and RP taken out. Mako pressing forward, will be able to find him. A 3v3, but it certainly feels like that this is not parody at all, that this is not an even fight. Mako, again, trying to push forward, catches him on the reload, does man to find calm, that's gonna be the pit now drop down, but Stax is out into the open, and he gets cleaned up. They're tucking to the corner, no hope in hell, they'll all go down, but I don't think they are too bothered by it. Cash a plenty in their pockets, EG now seven to one. And I gotta question this lockdown placement a little bit here, because I know you wanna clear that pit, but that's well within nade range. They clean it out easily. I mean, unless you're gonna headbutt that grenade on the way in to prevent it from getting to that lockdown, I, I don't know of any other way to stop that. Yeah, Not a bad okay. idea. Yeah, I, I know. That's kind of what I thought they might be trying for a moment, but... And then you've got the pit okay to try to counter their pit, but DRX just does not look comfortable. Mako has looked really off a bit today with these sprays. And he really should have cleaned up. He was Demon 1 he was going against, and they're just gonna try to push through A main. And calm. Seemingly very well aware of this one, just backing away, has some reinforcements as well, but Stax strikes on the flank, swing in, however, into A main. We'll lose out on two members, but Zest eventually able to find the kill, and that's gonna be some weapons recovered now for DRX. Plant, however, coming through, RB, unable to do anything to really run. stop this, and now a lockdown just to really shove them back, buy more space, buy more time here for EG. There. Now I think you have to invest the Nightfall in this round as Dax to try to find some way to get value out of this. You're able to wait out this lockdown fairly comfortably. The push is on, Haunt in, gonna be cleared instantly. Another one's gonna be in the back towards water. Push up over the top, the remaining. swing in from Jalgamos, just so unexpected. Oh, now it's everything to do here. Force Sass tries to catch Ethan there, eight bullets remaining. He's continuing the jiggle to play, time. The bite to try to flush him out, but Ethan can just go ahead and eat that damage for quite some quite a while. It's gonna be yet another round here. Going over to the side of EG. I believe we saw TRX getting their second round win with a thrifty back over on Fracture this time. It's not gonna happen. Oh, these post plants just so darn good for EG today. Top to bottom. Near perfection. And here on their attacker side on Lotus, one round away from perfection. They have just been incredible. Six rounds in a row now. And DRX just again can't seem to find any comfort, can't seem to find the right timings for their ultimates, the right timings for their utility. And EG, it's the complete opposite story. Their timings are perfect. Their alts are immaculate. Satchel out. DRX has got to figure it out soon if they're gonna have any hope in this series. Rubble control here. Completely uncontested from the side of the RX. They decided to stack up over towards that C site. Seekers let loose. Chase forward, Zest. Trying to hold things down. From over by Trey Pinchels over to the flank. He managed to find a second. RB arrives as well to claim Ethan. A. That's going to be the spike down inside the site now. Demon 1, however, still flanking back. Watching, gets a headshot. We're talking about those whips, and there's another one. Mako just cannot get him. Spike. Still gonna be stuck, however. And you can't have these at this stage of the tournament. It, it's just, I mean, credit where credit's due, EG is cracked. And they absolutely are on one today. But for DRX, time and time again, they're losing out on these duels. And you've got to give credit Nothing to Demon easy. One, who has just been absolutely disgusting with these vandals. I'll push up, calm. Way right through down. upper. It seems like it's gonna be the double approach here. Stacks spotting, doesn't get it, and suddenly this is right back into their hands, and they still have plenty of time. Cosmic Divide coming through, RB playing up in front of it. Larmbot goes in, he goes for the swing, and he cannot get him! Calm again, stands tall, another 3k, another multi-kill, and another round win for EG. It's a 2v4 they come through with. I mean, they just can do no wrong. They're, they're so dialed in right now. They're reading DRX at every step and turn. They're so ready for all of these push outs. And it all starts with Calm, able to hold it down a tree. He has been absolutely stellar here on both Fracture and now on Lotus. Oh boy. 
The former gentle giant feeling a bit angry here. Smako frustrated in isolation. A good quick kill here from Zest. Gets it, gets out. The opening on the door and Mako looking to utilize some of that rage, it would seem. Shot through, Demon One taken down. Snake fight will force RB back. Push forward. He sight the target now as the plant gets ready to come in. Calm still standing in their way. It's gonna be so difficult to get through there. Still a snake bite as well to back up that poison cloud for Calm. Bustio pushing space here, knowing that they've got DRX pinned in. Buzz on the cross. Oh, just enough of a distraction for Zest to be able to find him. Now into a 5v2. Mako breaking into the smoke. The fight at the ready. He sends it, trying to buy some more time. Triple push out now over five stairs. Ethan's gonna be good for one. Can he come up with more? Yes, he does. Finds another. Swing out out of the side. Calm. Managing to find one. Should have spotted RB's head, but it's just too much pressure from too many different angles. Eventually, he will fall. The defuse can come in, and DRX will get a second round on the board. The best that they can hope for here is going to be a 9-3 and three score line, and there's still so much money here from EG, so they're sitting pretty going into this last round of the half. I know DRX called it a 10-2 blessing, but I'm not sure if we need to see it again. I don't think they want to see it again. Certainly it has been incredible stuff here. Calm again, an absolute nuisance on the site, but just barely DRX able to outweight them, outlast them. And an early push out on these eco rounds, profits even greater than the previous attempt where they had gotten a couple kills at the spawn of EG. Gotten a couple upgrades, but weren't able to convert the round when EG went over to C, this time around onto A. Gonna find themselves a nice win. One more to go in the half, and Jogamo one away from the showstopper, so this will be that alt online for him. And Tom one away from the Viper's pit as well. Zest gonna pop his right away to try to dissuade them from pushing in towards this A site. We still have that Nightfall from Stax, and he is sitting way in the spawn. Just waiting for, I think, an opportunity to strike here, maybe to try to catch EG as they're going for a plant potentially on a B. But they're rotating all the way over to C right now, leaving Demon One on the other side of the map to guard. Mako, a lot of pressure on him to find some impact. He's just jiggling back and forth. He doesn't have the rifle out, so he's not looking to really challenge this as a fight. Again, I believe only seeing Bustio. There's a swing out. He just wants to back away. Let's see. Okay. He's going to continue. He's messing around in this position, but eventually we'll have to fall back. Smoke up to try and dissuade. Rotation over here from Buzz. One away from his own showstopper here. Jogamo is at the ready. Just sends it. Hako managing to make his way out. Buzz finding a kill. Now all built up. Pit going to be invested, but no. The showstopper, it doesn't find anything. Push, however, forward. Buzz catches calm. The snake bite in his hand, takes him down the pit, gonna be dropped. Push up, stack, snaps on, finds Jogamo just in time as Ethan now pushing forward. Trying to open things up on this B site, and Demon One is on a very deep lurk. All the way up on stairs, now pulling back. It seems like a ping does come down, so they should be decently aware of his position. But someone's gonna have to watch for this one as Ethan is forced off the angle by the snake bite. Zest is looking for it, and suddenly two more kills come in, and Stax is all on his lonesome. The stars set up. They look for the concuss. The push in, and Ethan shuts it down. Ripped from their hands. Ethan and Demon One do not allow the nine and three. It seems they believe in curses. Set up here with a ten and two score line as the crowd erupts. And just another beautiful odd man win for EG. Time and time again, they've been able to pull these out. Just beautiful stuff. The timing on this push out from Ethan and Demon One to take two down quickly. Just disgusting. It feels like from the moment that that pit drops and they get the kill over on the comp, by C that the round should have been over, that it should have been that third one there that DRX would so very much love to have under their belt, but it is completely denied. But let's go ahead and throw it, send it back over to the desk to get their thoughts. Thank you very much, guys. It seems that DRX, they just can't shake this score line on Lotus for sure. And they all started from the pistol, EG. They were yes. right on the board. Yeah, I actually have the pistol right here, Yinsu. It Whoa, is really? pretty insane. It is indeed <laughs> a set play, just like we kind of speculated coming into this map. 
So we have DRX actually going with mountain control, right? They're gonna one-way smoke that. But watch the protocol done by EG to adapt to this. They're gonna throw a sky flash under the mound so that way it doesn't blind Jogamo, who's satcheling up super aggressively. Bustio's gonna hop out, Kam is putting pressure on A, and Demon is lurking B. And this is definitely a set play because this turret only holds B and A. Now going into the round, you can see the sky flash again stays very low. So Jogamo can satchel up, get this kill for free, and the attention to detail at this point is so good. He paint shells off anyone that's willing to trade this kill. Demon 1 is lurking front B right now, and right when that door opens, he pops it open and he flanks them. My boy is about to just shoot these bodies. Are you ready? <laughs> pop, 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 pop. And it's over. It was literally over in like 15 seconds. Did you just censor the body shooting? Is that, is I did. That what that I did. Was? I didn't mean to cover it, but honestly, it was a little NSFW. That could go on. I, X. I, I do think it was really, <laughs> I do think it was really important for for uh, for EG to start that way, right? Given the fact that you've got through fracture, and that's a map you were supposed to win. Lotus may be a little bit different. You hit him in the mouth right off the bat, and DRX have been stunned the whole time. Oh, DRX, they need more than just that 10-2 blessing right now. Paperthin and Achilles is not looking good for them. No, it's certain. It certainly is not, and uh, I mean, I said the same thing when we were in this position with DRX versus Billy Billy. I said, it doesn't look good, this looks like it's over. And we were proven wrong. I don't think that's going to happen again. No, I, I can't see any world where that's the case unless this is a completely different team. Unless they've, you know, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde in it here as DRX, because they need another miracle and lightning rarely strikes twice, no matter how good you are, no matter how resilient your mental can be, EG is firing on all cylinders. Everything going so well for them. DRX is going to get the plant down here on to B. RB going to be watching the spawn. 2-2 two -two split around the other side. Let's see if they can get this pistol win in. First challenge is against Demon 1, and he's looking for the fight. Letting it come to him, and Demon 1 just shuts it down. A quick headshot, Jogamo. Moving forward here onto the side. Oh. Hits him falling for the Vodka, oh, but look goodness. at the cleanup. Oh. It's just so damn good. Calm takes down the final two. As it's right clicks a bound across the board for EG. And another pistol round win in their pocket. 11 to 2. Now just two rounds away from taking down DRX once again in 2 0 fashion and punching their ticket into the top three. Just incredible stuff here. Uh, top to bottom, reading these positions so well. Boost able to just W key his way across some of these rounds and come give us Man's a little dance. dancing give on us, stage. Give us, give us some. <laughs> <laughs> Things that the home crowd certainly likes to see, but otherwise, this game, this, this series has not been pretty. The force by now coming through from the side of the RX. Some sheriffs, a stinger, a judge to try to get something going. That has to be a force by. DRX has been decent with the sheriffs. Buzz is going to need to find some huge value potentially. A good paranoia to back calm off. Judge is in, but it's shut down. It's shut down, and he doesn't even find damage. Bustio still perfectly set there. Zest, however, going to be able to find one. Arby getting another. It's stacks back to back shots. Takes out Ethan as well, and suddenly. There. It is just Jogamo on his lonesome. We'll have to watch that one pack in the replay, win or lose, but good lord, what a turn of events here for the side of the RX. They absolutely need this force by to pay off. Max tagged up quite a bit there by the paint shelf. The first scope in, finds Mako the swap now over to the frenzy. Jogamo wanted to take these weapons out of their hands and take them, he shall. Says forced away. Can recover one of his comrades' weapons there on the floor. It's Jogamo just wants to bait him in. He wants to find the shot. Down to 55. The first tap comes across. Zest. Does he swing it? Yes, he does. He finds the kill. But it's still, again, just one player left here from the side of the RX. It's so costly to get this round win. All of your economy pumped into it. And you're going to be able to squeeze some rifles out into this next round, certainly, as DRX. But what looked like should be an easy win, and, and DRX just keeps giving EG these isolated fights where they're able to just dissect them one after another in these 1vx or 2vx scenarios. 
and you cannot give EG any space like that. You cannot give them opportunities because they are lightning. What? what? Let's just go sprinting out into the open. He comes down too. Ends up falling to the nade, but then Mako also picking up two eliminations of his own. RB rotating now across. It's just calm left standing. And I, I mean, I don't even know what I just witnessed. But that is the, the magic that was missing from DRX so far on these first two maps. Come with this shorty. We'll see if he can get anything done either way. Certainly needs to ensure that he goes down at least to the spike, but he's also got to break the door. It's not going to be a lot of fun for Com. <laughs> this is going to be a bit challenging. Turret here to check for him. No, he just wants to die to the turret. <laughs> <laughs> this is, yeah. This is, uh, this is an easier way, I guess. One for the crowd, perhaps, either way. <laughs> Another round on the board here for the side of DRX. Just accepted his fate. Yeah. I, I, I appreciate it. All right, let's see this. OK. <laughs> yes, I this mean, is the PLB I wanted. <laughs> hey, Timmy's earning his paycheck today, all right? <laughs> <laughs> see the team completely and utterly unfettered by the round loss there, having fun with it. But that, that was the low buy. That was the attempt at a thrifty. This is now the cash invested. TP across here from Mako. Boom out, gonna be going out. Demon one underneath it, already gonna be finding one apiece. Assassin Buzz end up falling. Stacks only able to get one at rid of one. It's Jogamo, finds two, just holding down Rubble. And again, it's RB lurking so very far away, but finding nothing. I mean, just the speed and intensity. Look at the stack. Yeah, there's no hope. Still gets one, sure. But Jogamo gets three, and EG get themselves up to match point. It's just incredible how on fire they are right now, and Mako just can't do anything about Jogamo on the side of Rubble. Stax tries to get up on the rocks to deal with him. No, sir. Again, it's isolated fights, and EG is winning them. You know, Jogamo doesn't take long to clear Stax and turn his attention. Hold the spray down right as he's expecting Mako to repeak. And they're just no stopping this EG train. A Guardian and Odin, DRX, able to find four Vandals and a Bulldog. Stacks on a Nightfall, only alt for DRX. EG's Jogamo, still another showstopper. It feels like he has them almost every other round with how well he's been playing. Here he goes. Jumping forward, spotting multiple delay. Pop here on the showstopper, sends it. It's gonna be a bit short, still get some damage across the Mako, but it's not the elimination he was looking for. Paint shells like. buys them a little bit of space to be able to at least recover that. Oh, that spike. Zest is just plus boarding into Busio is waiting, tucked away at stairs. Takes him down. TP now. Where's he gonna go? It's over to the B site. Goes for a quick check as RP tries pushing out of upper over towards the defending spawn, but he just cannot win the fight. Oh, and Com's got this Odin. And then he does. Swing onto the corner, spots the shoulder, takes him out. Yes, the spike is going to be planted. Yes, Buzz does find the timing here on the Jogamo, but he's just got no hope in hell. A celebratory pen as the crowd goes wild. 13 to 4, EG takes.